Hello everyone. Welcome to knowledgewala.com. So today I am going to discuss about message generation, message file build target in IBM Forum software. So basically uh, there are the XML files which we are changing and uh, there are some important build targets are required for those that we will discuss today discussing about messages files so message file basically so again the same thing in the same manner uh, like code table we are having messages files messages files are nothing but to represent your informational messages or maybe some kind of validation message on the presentation layer. A best example I can give here, like your date of birth. Suppose you are putting your date of birth, uh, inserting your date of birth and the future date, which is not possible. So what it will happen, it will throw an exception, or you can say one informational message, like date of birth and not the future. So we are storing these kind of messages inside the messages uh, file and that is uh, those files are those files are stored as an XML file so why we are creating uh, these messages inside the uh, XML file so if you are storing those other messages in an XML file so you can create a multiple methods and then you can create the same message for English, for Spanish and language so Based on your application local, it will select the message from here. Suppose your message is a French language, your application is running in French language, and uh, a message it wants to represent as a date of birth and not future date. So if it is English, it will represent like this. It will pick the English version of message from this XML file. And if it has to represent that message as a, in, in French language and it, it, it will pick uh, the message which are for French language. So this is the benefit. Uh, so you can use uh, for multiple languages. So some applications are supported multiple languages. So at that point of time, you have to create your message for all supported languages. So this is the benefit of message. So if you're changing or modifying existing messages, what kind of build you have to do? So basically you have to do a build MSG gen. So MSG gen is nothing but message generation. So it will generate your messages, whatever XML file you updated inside the messages folder. So, also along means uh, uh, as uh, code table were generating some artifacts, messages files are also generating uh, some kind of artifacts which are Java dot properties and dot jar file. So here it is generating the Java file. Which is again just kind of like uh, just kind of uh, Java files or uh, constant files. So you can, uh, in case of putting hard code, you can use this constant and read the value. And properties file, you get the actual message and jar files, which is being used by the client. And here is message or jar file. So as our client is also involved uh, in these messages files. So along with MSG gen, so we have to do build a client as well. So we will do build client. So we have to do build MSG gen as well as build client. So once your builds are passed, refresh the Eclipse and start your servers and validate your changes. So in a summary, in a brief summary, what we can do, 
if you have any changes or any new message file you have to do with MSG Gen as well as build client site. So MSG Gen will be in EJV server site and build client will be in the I think uh, I hope it is clear for everyone. If you have any confusion related to these two things, please let me know so I will provide more detailed video or more detailed uh, documents to you. Thanks a lot for watching videos on knowledgewala.com. Please send your valuable comments to me so I can improve the quality of tutorials in my website knowledgewala.com. Thanks a lot everyone. Have a nice day. I will release my next video soon. Thank you.